out. Only 26 bullets left in that Alda, but that's plenty. And he knows this low HP. He can use his evil eyes to win this. There's still 40 seconds left. So this is not a rush situation for FaZe. They will pick up Cameraman. So we're back to a one on three. The tension is huge. Well, Evil Eye going to be a massive factor here for Hot and Cold if he can play this correctly. He cannot vault this, so he'll prep it, but that'll give away his rotation and his intentions. It doesn't seem that 9XT has noticed this, though. It doesn't seem like there's a camera, and there's a nice kill for Hot and Cold. He only needs two more, and they're both still very low. He can deny the plant with the Evil Eye and just keep himself alive. 19 bullets, so he's got to be careful with that ammunition counter. And here's the denial! Will he land the shot? Oh, oh, it cold. Cold. Incredible! He's prepping the doors to see if anyone goes for the repel. But it's a three-man stack currently for Penta as they try to push their way in through the armory wall. It's out of CCTV, and there go the Candelas from Hungary, launching him out, and he's going to rush straight through the hole that he, uh, his Ash had made. Two blind, trying to go for three. Hungry will get them all. Looking in for four. Hungry, he gets the edge! Hungry, you are absolutely wild, and Penta bring one back. Powerful position. There's a yokai that's gonna move in, it's gonna hit Ghost. He's in a lot of trouble. He's gonna get blasted yet again. Avian will need to come to his rescue along with Neptunes. Ghost taking Vandal down, looking for another, but no, Hyper cuts him down. Removed from the site. England going for the defuse. Skeleton key cannot work. Only three seconds oh. to go. England going for the defuse. Spraying on in. The F24. England is off. Oh. oh! And the bird takes flight. The Sonics somehow win this. And it absolutely bonkers. End to a round for the Sonics. Down to the hands of Yuna. Young going to Toxic Bay once again. But Yuna going to have to abandon ship. Astro claims to as he's getting aggressive. NBK will eventually down him. It's Yuna and Mav all alone outside. But Young all alone on his roster as he's going to end up picking up three kills. Oh my god, what is that? Young quad kill. Who does that? The drone, that's the information being shut out from Dark Zero just a little bit, though. Mint is setting himself up for another rush, this time inside of Moto. The C4 will come out to counter him, but the EMP counters the C4 in turn. Mint up close and personal with these enemies, managing to flash them, but stuck in the crossfire. It's really hard to get this engagement in his favor. He will finally take out Shala, but it's his team falling one after another, putting more pressure on Mint. Able to get two. His last teammate, though, Pojo at the bottom of main stairs. That's three for Mint. Incredible pistol play, and he has the diffuser. Going for the plant behind Black Box. This is the perfect position for him to plant solo. Pojo's doing his best to cover, but he's going to lose the fight to Redeemer, forcing Mint into an A situation. He's going to get the 4K. He has the mirror window and the flash, and he gets it. The ace from Mint, and the round all on Blitz. You guys are going to be extended into Kitchen. I think TSM might overextend uh, through Office, and out of nowhere, Bolo's just in the sight. What is going on? How was he even able to enter? Now he's got control. Hopefully, he, oh, the bomb is go, the, the bomb is being planted out of nowhere. TSM making an aggressive rush and a rush plant. This might work out for TSM. Sexy King able to take down two there, but a trade out from Bolo. Now we stand at a 3v3 in the post plant scenario. Another one rotating down, but Polly will get one. Bolo with three on the round now, looking for more. It's down to the 2v2. Sexy Cake and PSK collapsing from the blue bar in the kitchen area, trying to bring in some yokai drones. Drones on the attacking side being sent out as well. Although not spotting the Yokai coming closer and closer as the Jaws music amplifies. But now in the hallway, that's four for Bolo. Will he get the ace turning the corner? Give it to it's him! Bolo! Let's go! Give him the ace, put it in the montage. TSM up 2 0. Yang. 45 seconds, and instead, that last asphyxiating bolt will go down, and he'll obscure that mirror. He gets a kill on the Necrox, but MBK is able to get Wilkie first. Bootsy gets softened up, and it's really just Shate who's fighting at full force here. They spray into the smoke. Canadian and him spy one another, as down goes Canadian. He shoots at the corpse as Bootsy eliminates him, and now Shate oh, runs in. He's going to go for the key. flank onto the Mira, but as NBK picks up yet another kill, it's just Shate. The Capitale peeks around the corner. He outduels BC, but it's still a 1v2, and they have control of the hatch above. This is going to be difficult. The attackers left. do have the hatch, or do have the plant. It will go down. NBK patrolling above. Diffuser should go down diffuser. quite easily, but now Shate, NBK drop. That's one, a huge round from Shate. He could clutch this out. It's just Young left. Will we be able to see oh! it? Shate! What a round from him, and Entz steals it away from EG. Ooh, almost <laughs> getting the kill there. Just a bit of damage, just scaring nice them off. Jumps oh. in for one, and Gohan will go down. No more IQ. Spares the second Astro down the floor. Oh, Marinka, are you ready for this? Oh. Yes! Bangu, are you kidding me? With a third getting taken down. And then... The drop right below, and the third Bangu gets it in the face! Bangu! Wins it up, no, no, and here we go. Penta, ladies and gentlemen, are going to 
the grand final! Also keep your eye on BC. The Mira is still playing. He does see the Valkyrie, and I don't know if Canadian is determined that he's been droned out. He'll go for a couple pre-fires. Can he manage to hit it? Oh no, Canadian, why are you there? Fabian with a very easy kill, and it's gonna be up to BC to clutch yet again. The Mira playing inside of small office. He'll go for a C4, tosses it out. Will it hit? BC has has to live for two seconds. Can Pengu find him? No! Evil geniuses will stick the third round. BC, another clutch. The gadgets, but there goes Mark. Thank God it wasn't Retro that ended up dropping. Plant going down, getting pinged over and over and over again. Can Retro pull it out last time? He was able to stick it! Retro gets the clutch, Ace is down, no! but there's a Claymore! Oh, Ace is from the grave! How do these things happen in these matches? Black Dragon members looking to finish this up. PZD is gonna try to flush him out of blue and throw down a series of Candelas as Julio looks to pick away at the wall. Kanto gets a second on a PZD and there are only three left. Through the floor, Julio goes looking, he'll get one on Nishate. 3v4, Kanto tries to go for Wag, but he can't. They battle back. It's a 3v3 now with 30 seconds to go. Wilkie still able to flank if need be. Wag pushes in and you see the Blackbeard of Kamikaze has to go back up. Wilkie does some damage, tries to go for the Blackbeard. He drops him and that's Diffuser down as well. He proves to be the better Navy SEAL operator. Bootsy adds to Wag. You call them Eds, we call them champions. Eds takes year two, season three. He continues to try and back off. We only have 45 seconds remaining now, but it's going to be a long angle. No, he drone hold him. What was that from Imarin? Looking for the bullet holes. Now that we'll get one, though, as Derpe peeks on up, but everyone's stacking by the face, awaiting the approach for Nello. No utility left. Diffuser in hand in a 1v3 in the midst of a crossfire. Gets one on a diesel and a second one on Imarin. Nello! Are you kidding me? The 1v4! You can see Psycho, he's got that top west side control and he's going to continue to try and clear out these roamers, but it's just continuing to stall. Cantor Akedi, the first kill of this series, the second kill of this series, the third kill of this series, takes out Julio and PZD before he gets a refrag from Kamikaze. What an amazing roam from Cantor Akedi. He's taken almost all of Wag's health down as well. He's going to get pushed by Kamikaze. Is he going to be able to get him? That's a fourth kill for Kanto. There's only one left standing in the way between the entire team. He doesn't have very much health left, but neither does Wag. And Entz coming off strong, or rather, Kanto coming off strong. Claymore goes in through a different drone hole. I wonder if it's going to work this time. It's on the, uh, behind the, uh, the couch there on Cocktail. But down is Pengu! Oh no! That means it's just Goga! But he'll win the fight against Alfama. Will it be two clutches in a row, four aces? He's going for it! Oh! And gets it! Incredible! What is that positioning? The movement! Flawless from aces! And Giants go on to match point. And with that, they guarantee themselves a spot in Japan. Shepard goes for a rush, eats a lot of damage, but doesn't lose the fight just yet. Pengu alive, but he only gets one. Can he get the second? He's so close, he runs back. The diffuser's low on time. Karzeka's gotta go, but Pengu! An insane clutch! The plant and the perfect post-plant positioning. And G2 win another round. The half ends 3-3. Three, three. There's Zeka there, a good attempt to try and stop the play outright, but unfortunately a bit of a misread on the situation. Now Scyther has to pick up the mantle here. Less than half the time remaining in order to get onto the diffuser here. Meepy is going to be spotted on the outside. Scyther takes the duel and wins it, but now is the hard part. Now he's going to deal with the player upstairs, and this is not going to be an easy factor at all. He does not have the Nitro still to confirm the easy kill. He's gonna oh! Oh, what is this? There's oh, no way good. that Leon's going to be able to read into this. Maybe he has. No, he's noticed it. The nade goes in. It's going to oh. impact. It should connect. But no, not in time, just a moment too late. An Empire, three billion IQ from Scyther to clutch out the round. TSM is falling apart in their comfort zone. Where can they find success? Pojo Man gets the first kill. The gas canister not denying. The second one will have to come out, and that will be successful. Chala comes off the stick, and he's eliminated by Pojo with the only kills for his team. Achieved on low HP, Pojo Man sees a third. He gets it. Nice shot. SMG 11, such limited ammo, but he can find two more. And oh, Bojo Man's absolutely insane. He's going for the fifth, but he doesn't even need it. The time. What a clutch from Bojo Man. He's back. Joystick's still not aware of where anybody oh, is. What? But two kills, three for Shepard, and the Empire strikes back.
They will take the Raleigh Major and disbelief how quickly it comes back where it all began for Empire. One of the most memorable maps that we've ever seen. It was G2 prevailing over Empire earlier this year. Lines here to chuck them into the site. This bush should be starting up very soon. There you go. First smoke canister will get used. Necrox coming in. Be planting in the back. In the meantime, Jonas goes in for the spray. And MVK will go down. That's Goga being lost by Young, holding the angle. Extra gas canister shot in the back. As Jonas again, the second kill. One more up top. He finds him. Bingo gets the kill on Necrox. And Terra Jason going happening? in. Call from up, Jonas. There you go. All our spot up at BC. And Claymore kill on Fabian. We've seen it all. And it's literally round at number two in the grand final. Young in, the fuser spotted, and will get taken down. G2, what a beautiful retake. Evil Eye still inside of A. It was placed there at least, so we'll see if it persists. But it could be Virtue who actually got rid of with the lifeline earlier. Fnatic just setting up on the A site. You can see Empire's setting up for a retake strategy. Going to use their gas canisters to delay. The smoke's coming out to counter that. Ace is going to be downed by Karzeka and finished off as well. That's good teamwork there for Empire. Karzeka looking to hold on to the main hallway. Rush into Connector is not going to work out for Lusty. And now it's just Virtue in a one versus three. He will down one. Can he get a second? Yes, he can. Can he get a third? He needs one more in Connector. And he gets it! Virtue, the absolute madman! What a clutch! A one versus three! And the first round goes to Fnatic. Attention. Mounts, but Ness cuts him with a knife on the Kanta Raketi. Welcome to the jungle, Penta Sports. That's the first kill, and even Jonas is down. Two technical kills here for Team Liquid. Maybe Jonas can be picked up, but his position is precarious. Sexy Cake peeks the bolt. We'll get the kill on Goga. Here's the cleanup from Sexy Cake. Two alive. Pengu and Fabian. Is this the downfall? In the making. Fabian, last man alive. The in game leader on the lion. He'll have How to roar. OP is lying here to fight five. Good luck, Fabian. Everybody from Team Liquid concentrating their efforts. You see everybody, every single one of the players here concentrating on the one kill that they need. Have they run out? Yes, happened. they will. Liquid, they Fabian. win it. Latin America, Pengu they go down. Finally, Latin America is triumphant. They couldn't do it in Katowice. They could not do it at Gamescom. They could not go and do it even in Brazil and Sao Paulo. Welcome yeah. to the Americas, Penta. Welcome. We're droning down the bottom main stairs, droning down the kitchen hatch. We're gaining information that we can strike through when we choose exactly where that is. Pambasu. He knows that there's somebody rotating into blue, but Eclipse can't deal too much damage. But look oh. at Pambasu! It's his world that we're limited in. Pambasu, baby! A huge three-piece by Panda to start off this map. Gets one. Fox A picks up another kill on the shuttle as Rogue is just going to peek everything. Slash tosses out one Toxic Babe, but he's a man on an island. He'll get it down on the mark, and there's still smoke there to possibly stop a push, but he's going to get doubled up on. Slash takes out Fox A, pulls out the shotgun. They're going to need to go for a plant. Mark's coming out. He just needs to sit oh. and hide, but the time is in their oh. favor. Slash, you just what? need to live, Cloud9. What are you doing? What? 30 seconds, in goes Capital. here comes the plant, the shots are rattling towards the corridor, Retro doesn't need to do it as Zeronic has been taken out by Elems, that's Blackbeard gone! Panic is down, down inside the site, Meepy is on 1 HP, Elems is on full, they don't have any drones on the bomb, Meepy is going upstairs, Necrox is going to go for the flank, Retro has to be calm inside the site and wait for the timing to be the level point, Panix is playing as a drone on site while down, he can feed information about the diffuser, Retro takes down Panix, that's the dead Diffuser man. Meepy on the top of this staircase. He can see the gun. Meepy taken out up and above by Necrox. It's 1v2 for LM. This is going to be the deciding factor. Continuum. Can't find him. But there's the second oh! kill. Retro. They're going to get it. More than enough time to defuse. Continuum are the first North American team to win Rainbow Six Pro League. Holy sh. Oh. Send BK down BC. It's 2 2. It's Pengu and Fabian left. Two of the best known players on that team. Their captain sufficient. Fragger Fabian down. It's Pengu. The Ash just waiting. Or rather, the Hibana just waiting. They'll look to push together. The Diffuser in a position where they'll have to see when the Hibana goes through. One will cover the doorway as they start to defuse. Pengu goes for one on the young. Can he go the second? They're off the known as the best team in the world, never having that distinction until today. Penta are your world champions.